Okay, so this is uh, Twister OS and this is the latest version. But this version is a little different and uh, Monka sent me uh, a link to this. And Salvador mentioned a while ago that uh, the PyLabs team were working on getting Windows on ARM to work through Linux uh, on Raspberry Pi. And, uh, and it has happened. It's not going to be a general release thing. This is just something that they've been experimenting with and uh, just to try. Apparently the virtual machine was created by Creel from the PyLabs team. So thanks very much for everybody's work. It's, it's really interesting to see. So if I go into a folder uh, and I look for the Windows 10 VM folder, uh, then if I right click and open a terminal and I put in this one and then run.sh, I get a warning. But if we wait a little bit, you'll see that Windows 10 starts to launch within Twister OS, which is amazing, really. So let's minimize that one. I can minimize that one as well. And I can make this a bit bigger. Now, I haven't really played around with this enough. I only got this yesterday, and uh, I, I don't know how to add anything to it. Although, actually, thinking about it, while well, that's loading up, I did a video on Windows 98 running through. It was an older version before Twister OS. Uh, so let's let's get it up. Let's try that and see if that finds it. Oh, there you go. So this was a while ago I did this video now. Uh, what was it, April 3rd? And this was, uh, so it was called Raspbian 95, which isn't, I don't think is available now. Um, but it had uh, Windows 98 as a virtual machine in it. And the way you used to get the games on it was to write an, uh, an ISO file uh, and then import that. So it was in the VM folder. So I don't know if, if I can do that with this build. Again, I haven't got loads of time to try this out, but I thought I'd, I'd let people aware. Uh, as I say, it's probably not going to be something that is released, but it was just interesting to see. So let's go back into, not that one, let's go back into this one. And here you can see, so if I press start, the password is pi. As you can see, this build of Windows will expire soon. So if I go into, say, something like settings and system, and it doesn't run that bad. Considering it's Windows 10 running in a virtual machine on a Pi, I've been really quite impressed with it. So what does it say here? So 1.47 gigahertz, three processors, two gig of RAM, 64-bit OS ARM-based processor. And I, as I say, I don't know what else I can do with it. So if I go into, uh, you can see all the apps. Everything looks fine. So if I, if I do alarms and clock, I don't think I've ever used that on Windows. And uh, if I go into the folders, you see that the folder structure is uh, within the virtual machine is just like Windows would be. So. There you go, there's the disk. Downloads. Oh, there's some downloads in there, look. Why is that? Is that a game? Because there was a game called Screamer. Okay, oh, Scream Driver. Okay. Let's leave that as I don't know what I'm doing with it. Click on. Oh, it's saying it's got network connected. I don't know if I, I don't know if the internet was working yesterday. I don't think the internet was working. I did try an Ethernet cable when I tried it on Wi-Fi, but again, I don't really know a lot of information on this. I just, I was just sent a link and and thought I'd have a quick look. Let's do a quick search and see what happens. I'm pretty sure it says uh, that it's not connected to the internet. I oh, know it is connected to the internet. Wow, that that's impressive. I I wasn't expecting that because yesterday it didn't work. Um, but maybe I've done something different. I've, I can't think that I've done anything different. I wasn't expecting that. So if I if I minimise this, like, so you can you can have your virtual machine here. So you could be possibly running something in Windows, but also using your Linux for everything else. Yeah, we've got to try YouTube. I mean, it, I'm guessing the video playback is not going to be good, but you never know. So actually, the the web's not not doing too badly, really. I guess if we go for the lowest resolution, we can 
we can find and see if there's any possibility. Don't know about sound either. Um, Battery, 10%. So maybe I can get something going through this. Three hours of deep focus music. Another Google notification. I agree. And I don't, I don't know if this version's overclocked. Oh, it is playing video. Oh, have we got sound? I don't think we have. Oh, no, there might not be sound on this early bit. So that's on full volume. I guess we could try Bluetooth. Let's put my speaker on Bluetooth. Ready to pair. There's my speaker. Connected to Raspberry B. Okay, so that's working. Oh, I see audio's out here. Troubleshoot, speaker setup, unknown, sound settings. Okay, probably could have looked at that right at the start and then seen that no audio, no audio output device is installed. I don't know what it's like for, I plugged a USB stick in and it didn't recognize it. But as I say, I don't know anything about this. It is, it is just a test. Uh, so just super impressive. And it, and it is playing video. Uh, yeah, it's not great, but it's uh, but it is playing video and it is working within Linux. So there might be some sort of basic things that you want to do, uh, some Windows programs that you want to get up and running, uh, but you could still stay in the Linux environment. So yeah, great work, great work to the PyLabs team, great work by Creel, and thanks very much to Munker for sending me the link. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.